As the Jamaican financial arena becomes more competitive, more companies are paying attention to customer-centric ideas in an effort to woo the potential client with money to invest. In her first public briefing since her promotion to the position of country manager of JMMB Group, on November 24, 2014, Kisha Anderson formally launched what the company dubbed JMMB Goal Planning Service. It comes at a time when traditional high-yielding government paper is no longer the deal and firms have to be innovative and pay more attention to the customer. It comes to over a decade following the birth of the idea from JMMB's founder, Joan Duncan. Because the difference about um, what we're doing through this gold planning service is that we believe that every single Jamaican, bar none, has the possibility to have a goal and to have a plan with a partner like JMMB and to have that goal be realized. JMMB's research picked up something interesting. We realize that in the conversation about goals, there's no uh, direct or deliberate effort to ensure that you help the person to identify the goals and prioritize them. And actually, after you have, if, if there is an opportunity to identify the goal, we find what is missing is that people aren't really helping people to recognize the value of that goal. So, for example, I have children, I know I want to send them to university. Do I know what that costs? Do I, do I know what it will cost when they're ready to go to university? So that's a big part of what we see as a value added that JMB is going to do. We're not only going to help you to identify and prioritize the goals, we're going to help you to figure out through our extensive research how much that goal is actually going to cost when you're ready to actually realize that goal. Then what we're going to help you to do is we're going to help you to determine how can you afford to plan towards that goal. So we all have a budget, right? Nobody's answering. <laughs> Right, we have a budget. Um, most times, uh, the budget is what you spend, you write it down. The real budget is when you plan ahead and you say what it is that you earn or have the potential to earn and what it is that you're going to spend. And you try and recognize now, if you're going to save towards something, how much can you afford to save? And we've been very deliberate in our conversation. People like Michelle will, will go through with you and will actually show you how you can actually realize savings, even what you're spending. I mean, I see Michelle talk to people about their cable bill and things like that. The conversation goes to a whole new level. So the idea is that when, we, when you identify your goal, we're going to help you recognize how much it is that you need to save towards that goal. We're going to assess who you are. What's so special about your level of understanding of financial markets and the level of risk that you can or cannot afford to take based on your, what we call your risk appetite? It's nothing um, too scary. It's basically just that you would know how much money you feel comfortable if, you know, interest rates change overnight or the price of a stock change overnight, how you feel about it. You can't sleep at night or you say, you know, nothing to worry about. I know that Jim and B will sort it out. So we help you to identify your risk um, because we recognize in the current conversation that's not necessarily consistently happening where people understand what that means. To achieve all of this, Keisha has supportive team members such as Peter Thompson, Senior Investment Manager Pensions and Client Portfolio, Joan Edwards, Manager Client Portfolio Management Services, and Michelle Sinclair Doyle, Manager Client Financial Education, a key function in a country where investment literacy is not widespread. Senior Investment Manager Peter Thompson says his job is essentially to demystify investments for the average investor. My job is basically breaking it down and making it into um, accessible. So through our, the different products and portfolios that we have, this guy will be able to come in, go through the process, understand the risk return, identify his goal, and then in the background, what we are doing is that we are allocating his portfolio to match his specific needs. Now, his portfolio may be, he, the, the things in his portfolio may be things that on his own he may not be able to buy, but as a group, as a collective, he and you know, a, a group of people can buy. Also in the background, what we're doing is the reallocation. Keisha spoke about it earlier when she spoke about the lessons that we learned earlier in the process that as the market change, we have to be uh, you know, very, very responsive. So the rebalancing process, I oversee that whole rebalancing process, you know, what goes in, what goes out. So if we, you know, with the support of our research team and our client investment team, we look and we see that interest rates are going to 
increase. Rather than be reactive, we want to be proactive and rebalance the client's portfolio beforehand. So if it means that they're, they're all back on, on cash-like instruments, then it's cash-like instruments we are doing because our ultimate aim is how do we get that client to feel comfortable enough to know that, okay, it's easy at JMB. All he has to do is make his monthly contributions and we in the background will take care of everything. Another key team member assisting in JMMB's renewed customer-centric thrust is Joan Edwards, Manager of Client Portfolio Management Services. As we now have systems that enable us to do the planning for our clients' goals, whatever those goals might be, because every need is a goal. And so we also have expanded our product offerings, not just to have just local Jamaican products, but we have global products, emerging market instruments that are now available to all of our clients once they have the appetite to have those included in their portfolios. And to take it a step further where even in a recession or even in declining interest rates, our clients can be achieving above market returns because of the recommendations that we make to them. So I'm very happy to be a part of that process, you know, the training and development of the team, reviewing of client portfolios, rebalancing and having them really get the returns and achieve their goals in shorter time than they would have had they not had the opportunities that we provide for them. JMMB is a manager of client financial education, Michelle Sinclair Doyle, is an integral part of the team propagating JMMB goal planning service. She played a major role in testing the technology associated with the new service. So after the wonderful systems team developed a wonderful tool, we then had to look at it to ensure that it would meet our clients' expectations in terms of how easy it would be to have a conversation utilizing this tool. And also ensuring that the way in which we were able to help them to identify the goal and then actually put costings to it would have become very critical. So for example, if somebody wants to send their child to university now, we know exactly how much that costs. If the child wants to go to Harvard, if the child wants to go to UE, if the child wants to go to UTEC, etc. But then, if the child is not going now, but instead will be going in five years' time, it becomes important for us to be able to utilize the tool to add inflation to the figures in order that we can give persons a realistic expectation of how much this goal will cost. Because very often persons do not achieve their goals because they're looking at the cost today rather than the cost in the future. So I was very instrumental in developing costings for a variety of things from you know, what the down payment for the average home would be. Um, university education and other things. So we actually do have those costs at JMMB so that we can actually inform you. Additionally, I was instrumental in helping with the testing of the tool with the, the persons that came in as mystery shoppers. And so we were able to have the conversation, of course, as Keisha said, going straight from the budget to actually saying this is how much your goal will cost and this is what you would need to be consistently saving in order to get there. And then these are the products that we can introduce to you in order to help you to get to your goal faster so that it is very easy. JMMB's goal planning service appears to be a vital tool in an environment where most of us do not have a working knowledge of how to invest our hard-earned money. That's your wealth for this week. I trust you found it informative. I'm Owen James.